Last week, the hacker collective known as Anonymous declared war on the Church of Scientology. The internet nearly blew up when footage of famous Scientologist Tom Cruise surfaced addressing other members of the church at a private ceremony. Long protective of its privacy, the church sent a number of takedown notices to sites that were hosting the video, and in doing so, they raised the ire of Anonymous, a disparted collection of hackers and activists united behind a common cause. Spurred into action by Scientology's ongoing battle to limit access to information and videos about the church, Anonymous encouraged its members to attack church servers and publish private documents online. And they are not stopping there. Last week, Anonymous posted a public video message stating, quote, We shall proceed to expel you from the internet and systematically dismantle the Church of Scientology in its present form, end quote. In response, the Church of Scientology has released a statement as well. Quote, Those wishing to find out the Church of Scientology's views and gain context of the video have the right to search official church websites if they so desire. End quote. While the church doesn't sound concerned, their private documents continue to leak onto the internet and point to what may be an epic battle waging behind the scenes. Will Anonymous shut down the house that Xenu built? Or will the internet just become bored of the war? Sorry, the site's temporarily unavailable. It's the loot. All right, my guest tonight here in Los Angeles, Mark Ebner, journalist and author of Hollywood Interrupted. And in New York, it's Nick Douglas, writer for Gawker.com. Welcome to the loop, everybody. Uh, we got to get into this. We've been, uh, fortunately, it's got a little delayed, so I'm glad we're finally having the discussion. And, and Nick, I'd like to start with you. Did you think Gawker Media started this whole revolution when they, when they refused to actually take down the Tom Cruise Scientology videos? Oh, sort of. I mean, first the video went up to YouTube, and uh, YouTube always plays it a little more safe uh, with taking down videos when someone claims uh, copyright infringement, because they don't necessarily want to uh, fight every battle and... Uh, they're not as interested in, you know, running it. But Gawker, you know, figured this was very newsworthy, and we weren't going to take it down just because the church uh, didn't agree. So what with happened our exactly, Nick? They, they they sent you a letter. They said, "Hey, you got to take these videos down." You guys simply said no, and that was that. Or is, or is there still a legal battle going on that maybe we're not hearing about? They sent our business office a cease and desist order, and uh, we definitely decided that it was totally within our legal, legal right to run the video, that it was newsworthy, and it sure has been. A lot of people have been very interested in the video. Right. And uh, we emailed them to that effect, uh, one of our business people, and I don't know whether they've pursued a lawsuit, although they told the New York Times that they weren't even considering a lawsuit, which would make it even worse if they eventually changed their minds. Right. Well, Mark, uh, there was one group of people who definitely were interested in those videos, and that was this hacker group, Anonymous. Why do you think they're so fed up with Scientology here? Well, you know, even though I uh, kind of picture Anonymous as being one pimply-faced 14-year-old <laughs> script kid, you know, l lobbing bombs at uh, Scientology servers, uh, he uh, or that collective group is right in that they are ticked off that Scientology is a totalitarian criminal mind control cult. They are right about that. However, hacking their site is not really the way to go about taking them down. Most critics you talk to w want the Scientology site to be up there so that people who are interested can see, you know, th the stupidity that they have on the web. Right. And at the same time, they can go, there are a few keystrokes away from getting... Uh, a thousand other opinions. Well, Mark, where are we today exactly? Like, what has Anonymous, accomp Anonymous accomplished so far? I mean, you said they, they've hacked their site. They've obviously taken down the site. But is there anything else so far? Yeah, well, they've managed to get out to disseminate uh, a lot of the Scientology intergalactic uh, space opera secrets, you know, the pricey <laughs> material that for people that join Scientology, you're going to be paying hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to find out, you know, information that is uh, probably about as good as uh, a bad episode of Star Trek, you can get it for free on the internet right now, and they're just propagating that. So they're doing that. They don't need to be hacking, though, because uh, by all means, go check out Scientology, and then go check right. out Xenu TV, uh, uh, Operation Clambake, all the critical sites. Nick, would you agree with that? I mean, a lot of the critics of Anonymous are saying, hey, you know, exposing secrets, that's great, but shutting down web servers, that is illegal, and, and it could lead to some bad press. Do you agree with that? Oh, totally. Anonymous even decided that they were going to stop that attack, that it was uh, a bad idea. It's the usual thing they used to do when they really hadn't had a thought-out plan. And here they're realizing they actually have to figure out some 
real plan against a real enemy. Right. It's just something to do while they're waiting for the pizzas that they ordered to arrive to the office, right? <laughs> now, now, this isn't the first time that Scientology has been attacked on the Internet. I mean, they forced a, a legal shutdown of a Usenet group back in 1994. Recently, they've had conflicts with, with Google and with Slashdot. Nick, how is this war with Anonymous different? I mean, there's obviously not a central site or a central figure, right? So that's got to change the game completely. Exactly. You've got a bunch of people. I've talked to several people who are organizing a lot of these uh, real-world protests that they want to do and a lot of the Internet um, attacks that they're giving. And they said that technically they could be replaced by any other group of people who called themselves anonymous. That's the whole point of the group. Uh, they were just the ones who have been most vocal and decided to do it. So if they were shut down, uh, someone else would probably rise up anyway. Right. Now, Mark, Anonymous is a group that in, in the past has typically shunned attention, especially from the media. Now it seems like they need that to win. And, and I'm wondering, do you think they're capable of being taken seriously enough that they could actually make an impact here against the Church of Scientology? Well, I think that they're definitely making an impact by getting, you know, the secret material out. But at mm -hmm. the same time, I think Scientology ultimately is bringing themselves down by putting Tom Cruise out there as a spokesman. And, you know, he can't even string a thought together. I mean, you know, using their celebrities, I mean, they are their own worst enemy. Uh, but, you know, as a collective, uh, you know, any of these critical websites, you know, any journalist that brings some sack to the table and wants to tell the truth about Scientology, collectively, yeah, it'll be their undoing. Right. I mean, you, you, I, I'm sure everybody watching has seen uh, Trapped in the Closet, the South Park episode. That right. tells you right. all you need to know about Scientology. Well, now, Nick, you mentioned uh, the protests, and I know Anonymous hopes to stage these massive protests in major cities around the country. Supposedly, it's going to happen on February 10th. Do you think their Internet yeah. efforts are actually going to translate into real-world results, though? It's going to be tough. I mean, they chose a date that was over two weeks away from when the story first broke. Meanwhile, we've, of course, had a lot of other news stories happen uh, in both celebrity and pol political areas. So it's going to be tricky to see if they can actually pull this many people out of their houses uh, and over to these different locations. Uh, plus, if they all showing up, show up wearing the V for Vendetta masks that a lot of anonymous members seem to, to really mm -hmm. get off on, uh, it might just look really silly. And do the opposite of what they really should right. be doing against Scientology if they want to hurt it is just make it look more silly seems to be the most uh, you know effective means all right well Mark I want to give you the final word here do you think anonymous do you think anonymous as a group do you think they genuinely care about the cause or do they just like the the idea of being like a vigilante and getting some media attention I think they care about the cause because uh, nobody likes uh, censorship especially from Scientology on the internet yeah. however they could have done a better job with their video it reminds me of that you know remember the all your base are belonged to us <laughs> video to it's be, pretty hokey. to be honest that's exactly what I loved about it if they would have mentioned launch all zerg or launch all <laughs> Zenu or something like that. I, I loved it. But anyway, thanks to my guests, Mark and Nick, for joining us. Thank you guys for keeping us in the loop. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.